guys, Rubber Tramp Renegade here. Uh, I'm out in the garage working on some uh, projects on the van. Just a few little things I've been trying to get done. Uh, I'm lucky I got some heat out here. You can see this heater. This little kerosene uh, ready heater. Uh, a lot of people call them salamanders. I picked up that up at an auction for 25 bucks. So uh, it's actually uh, worked out pretty good for the garage here. But let me show you what I'm working on. Around here at the back of the van, I had this air conditioner where I put this air conditioner in the van and I made the cover out here but let me turn this heater off it's probably a little loud the inside I needed to make some kind of cover just to to hide it uh, when it's not being used and I use that same vinyl material and I just put some snaps on it to kind of hide that out of the way and I'm gonna work on another one for the other door here but um, one thing I'm trying to figure out is that material it's black on the inside how I have it but on the other side the window side it's got like a, a white type of fabric look so with this tinted window it might show on the other side so I'm gonna try to figure out maybe I can spray paint that fabric and it it'll look black from the outside I just want something to kind of cover this window I do have my flag here but at night if I have the light on, you can still see through this tinted window and see that flag. So I just want to have something kind of black it out like the rest of the window. So I, I'm going to work on that. All right, guys. So here's that fabric um, that I'm working with. It's like a vinyl on this side, but it's just like a cloth on this side. I've got it marked out for that window, how I'm going to put it. But I want to get some spray paint. I have some in the cabinet there and see if I can kind of spray paint this fabric black and see if that works but I have a little scrap piece here that I tested the snaps on when I got the snaps so I'm gonna go ahead and try to spray paint that and see how it works out alright now I probably sprayed a little bit more than I had to but um, I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that uh, other window cover out if this doesn't work out spraying it on the back, I'll come up with something else. I'm going to need that anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it out and work on the snaps to get it uh, put on the, the door of the van. Alright, so I've got this piece cut out. And as you can see, the back is kind of white like I was talking about. But anyways, it's going to go up here on this uh, frame. I'm just going to put some snaps around here. These snaps are just going to be like the other door there. Um, but first, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm just going to hold this up to the window, make sure it fits. I traced the other one and made this one, so it, it should work uh, pretty <clears throat> pretty good. But if not, I'm going to just have to trim it a little bit. But the first thing I'm going to do is hold it up there. Once I get it and see if it looks okay, I'm going to put the first snap in. That way it'll have something to hold to, and then I can just kind of stretch around and get each snap after that. So, uh, so here's the snaps that I'm using this time um, on the on the window air conditioner unit I had some other snaps that I just kind of put screws through these actually have I don't know if you can see that they actually have the screw in them but first you've got to drill a pilot hole all right now that I have that snap in I'm going to hold that fabric up there and I'm just going to use a hole punch and punch a hole uh, where the other part of the snap, snap needs to go. Alright, now if you're going to do something with these snaps, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, because the tools and stuff you buy and the snaps themselves they don't really come with uh, any instructions so there's a piece right here if I can get my hands on it this piece right here is the actual part that snaps onto that part that I put up there and then here's the actual cap that goes on the fabric now your tool has a couple different uh, settings this piece right here spins around and it's for different uh, snaps this side is for the cap part of the snap and the other side is for the the other part of the snap if you're putting one of those on another piece of fabric or something they actually crimp together too if you get a different style so that's what the other side is for if you're using that other side there's a rubber insert that you put in here um, for crimping that but 
on the caps you you don't need the uh, rubber insert so basically you just put this cap in this side of the crimp tool and then this side I don't know if you can see that it's got like a little uh, cone shaped piece that actually makes the tube crimp around this so this piece just goes face down in the tool just like that this goes in here and then when you crimp it together it just crimps around I'll show you so basically get your fabric and I've got my hole here and I'm gonna put this in here where I want it and then I'm just gonna crimp it down and there it is once you squeeze it together that tube comes through on the inside and wraps around that snap and it holds that part alright so the first snap is on there the next step is just to kind of pull it tight where I want it mark where the rest of the holes are and then punch the holes and then crimp on all the snaps I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put the screws all around the edge that way I know where they're gonna be and then I can just punch my holes and put my snap caps on there alright guys well I have all the snaps on and I went and checked on my fabric piece this is actually the back part that I spray painted and here's the uh, leather look inside the vinyl uh, so I think it worked out pretty good I touched it it's dry it doesn't come off on my hands uh, so hopefully it works out so I'm gonna go ahead and paint uh, that piece before I punch all the holes and then put the snaps in alright guys well the paint is drying on that piece of fabric for the back window so I've got some other projects I was working on and one of them uh, I've been putting off for a while is this cabinet here and I was going to put something on this cabinet uh, to dress it up and make it look a little better. I still don't know what I want to do with it, but it's really an eyesore to me. When I open the door, it doesn't match anything. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and stain this, kind of like the rest of the interior there, just for now. So I have something on it. It's not, it doesn't just look like, you know, raw wood. So uh, I, if you have any suggestions for that cabinet, you know, let me know. I'm, I want to wrap it in something... I don't know, some kind of fabric or world maps or something. I just don't know what I want to put on there. Um, but right now, I'm just going to stain it. I'm just going to dust it off, uh, tape off the floor so I don't get anything on the floor. I've got the bed opened up, and I've got the Dometic fridge pulled out so I can get in there and stain everything and not uh, get stained on the things I don't want to stain. All right, guys. Well, there's the cabinet uh, all stained up. It's a little darker than the rest of everything, but the rest of it was kind of dark when I started to it'll lighten up when it dries now you, as you know I don't live in my van this is just my camper van uh, so I'm gonna let it air out for a few days before I get in it and think about camping in it those fumes are pretty strong but um, it'll air out before I go camping anyways but that's just something I wanted to get done to make the van look a little better it, now it doesn't just look like raw wood alright guys well we're back over here to the back of the van now that we've got that cabinet stained the the fabric is dry enough to work with so I'm going to go ahead and get all these other snaps in place well there it is uh, I've got all the snaps in and as you can see up here I've got this latch right here so I couldn't exactly put it in the corner so I had to put two snaps there but it worked out pretty good now let me show you something uh, I can do with this when it's when it's closed it's complete privacy through the back window you can't see anything uh, because that's black I painted everything black so you can't see through there now you can see it's I've got some tinted windows but uh, one thing about my windows, the, my back window does open and that way when I've got the fan going I can get some ventilation, some air circulating through there so I don't want to you know, block this off completely. I didn't want to close the window permanently. Um, so 
one thing I can do with this curtain here, I can take off all these snaps except for the middle one. I'll just fold that one over. Snap that up. Do the same thing over here. And then turn this inside out. Roll it over. Snap that up. And now I've just got a, a curtain. You know, if I wanted some uh, daylight or when I'm camping, uh, I can, you know, I can take that off completely, but then I'd have to find somewhere to put it, uh, store it out of the way. This way I can just open it up and kind of have like a half uh, curtain there. So I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, so those are my two projects for today. These uh, window covers and staying in that cabinet. Uh, I don't know what else I'm going to get into today, if I'm going to work on the van um, or not, but... I, I do have a couple projects to get done around the house, so I'm going to work on that. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.